everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fandom Fights. We've got another singles match for you. Two 0-1 players coming in trying to get a win. we got Kaiser and Liam back in the ring. Coho's here to call this one with me, Coho. Yes, I am. How are you? I am doing great. Uh, I'm very excited. I, I have been here a lot more this year on the desk. I yeah. did not expect as much as I've been here, but I'm having fun. Um, excited to see these two guys play, but I think both of them did pretty decent last time we saw them. Uh, I think this will be a, a, a good rebound match for them and see how they do. Yeah, let's see uh, what they have to say right now in the promos. All right, well, I'm glad to be back. Glad uh, you uh, can have me here, and I'm ready to just tackle – Whatever comes at me, whatever the wheel gives me, hopefully the wheel is a little kinder to me than it was last time. My second round kind of killed me. Uh, but time's the breaks. I'm going to take what I can give, and I, I did not really prepare at all. I'm just ready to go in with the knowledge I have. And I'm going to do my best. I'm going to have fun. Glad to be here. How you feel, bud? Yeah. Uh, Taya is like, it's like eight in the morning here, but well, it's fandom, so just you know, you and I have to have kind of the similar attitude to a fandom. Is like just going with uh what we know and they just they just make it entertaining and just fuck shit up. What do you think? I mean, that's my motto. That's actually my family crest. It's like fuck shit up. So it's funny enough you say that. Yeah. Um, I have no doubt you're gonna do great. You be kicking ass. Every time you come up to the plate, even if you don't, you know, win, but you know, like you're getting better every day. I believe in you. It's like my grandmother always used to say, Who the fuck are you talking to? Hey, I don't Bill. know what that has to do with anything, but yeah. So what's up? And also, Bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do you want to a rewatch fellowship after this? I'll fucking kill you. All right. Uh interesting promos. Both just seem happy to be here, although Kaiser are using foul language. Uh, not appropriate. This is a children's show. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Shit. <laughs> okay, no. and this is a children's show. We got about four years to scrub real quick. I, I'm uh, sorry. I, I I thought we were on a different internet trivia oh, program. Uh, oh. So we are here. It, it, it's, it's, let's go, Coho! Let's go, Tim! Fucking my! Yeah. My dog is freaking out. Let's get into the match. Like, Round number one is going to work like this. There are going to be 10 <laughs> questions from 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question. You have three repeats and one challenge for the entirety of the match. Uh, players, any questions as we get into it? Good to go. So can I swear? Yeah, that was a, that's yeah. a big question. <laughs> you, you, if, if you swear more than 11 times, we'll take a repeat from you. So uh, let's get into it right okay. now. Cole. What is question one? Uh, your first fucking question comes to the category of fandom quotes. <laughs> Which YA actor said the quote? I mean, why didn't you just let the van crush me and save yourself all this regret? Um, you know what I regret? What? The time I went ah, 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 like five minutes ago. I don't. I don't regret. I, that was that was a good energy starter. I just matched it. I was like, just let's go. Let's feed off of this. Let's five, go. With the improv four, in me. Three, two, one. Was good at Hands down. Let's start with Liam. No clue. And Kaiser. Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart is correct. So. Uh, Kaiser will get the first point as we move on to the next question, which is in the category of Mission Impossible. Who drives the getaway van after breaking Ethan out of prison at the beginning of Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol? Did you see Spencer? Yeah. Did you like it? I loved it. I've seen it twice. Okay. Big okay. Fan. Yeah, I liked it. I was, I, I just, thought, I was gonna say Academy Award nominee Kristen Stewart, uh, yeah. which feels weird. She's, she's not my choice to win the Oscar, but my choice wasn't uh, nominated, so I would, Same. I would, I would give her the Oscar. True, but my my choice is is from the worst person in the world, so I probably wouldn't have. Fun. Pens down. Was she nominated? Um, let's go to Kaiser, Benji, and Liam. I forgot the character name, so I just said Simon Pegg. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's hard to see. You might there, want to, there we go. Uh, Benji is correct. Uh, so we have to take the character name. So Kaiser is up two to zero. What is next? Hello. Your third question comes to the category of DC. In Superman 2, 
Lois and Clark go to Niagara Falls undercover for what fake occasion? Have you ever know. gone undercover for a fake occasion? Um, I, I don't say not. any occasions. I, I'm not. I'm not. I have. Uh, I have uh, never had the the luxury of going undercover. I have to be overcovered. Uh, repeat the question. All right, it's Kaiser's first repeat. All right, question again in DC. In Superman two, Lois and Clark go to Niagara Falls undercover for what fake occasion? Um. So, have you ever worked with someone and they kind of like quit on you and you were kind of pissed and then you like ran into them like at their next job? Yeah. It's never happened to me. I just wanted to know that. Oh, uh, no. It, it was weird. Before, yeah. It was a very weird, weird Five, experience. Four, three. What are you saying to me? Speak. One. Pens down. He did not pee before when I took him out. Uh, let's go to Liam. Was it Honeymoon? And Kaiser. Honeymoon. Both are correct. Liam gets on the board. It is three to one as we get into your next question, which is in the category of Disney animation. Which Disney animated film takes place in a land called Kumandra? Or as, uh, or as Maggie would say, Kumandra. Mandra. Did you, just, what, did you say what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> okay. Five. Talons are out. I repeat, talons are out. Two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Pens down, Liam. Pens down. Pens down. Let's go to Kaiser. Raya in the last dragon. And Liam. Didn't have it. All right. Raya in the last dragon is correct. Uh, I haven't seen that. I need to see that. It's fantastic. Uh, I've heard that. Toho, what's the next question? Your fifth question halfway through the round is going to come in the opposite category of Disney live action. The titular book in National Treasure Book of Secrets belongs to who? It's a bell. That was a bell. I was going to say. It means the dog went outside. Uh, um, how do you feel about books? Uh, I loved them as a kid. I read a lot of them, and now I just I don't have time. Four. Three. I've always hated them. Too. That's fair. One pens down, unless Harry Potter's name is on it or Lord of the Rings. Uh, Kaiser, Abraham Lincoln, and Liam. Mm, I just said the president, so I don't know if that counts. The president is correct. So uh, the president is the correct answer. So Liam will gain a point on Kaiser, mm -hmm. four to two, as we get into the next. Wait, wait. Just again, you say it belongs to whom? Mm -hmm. Well, what was the question? The wording of the question was the titular book in National Treasure Book of Secrets belongs to who? And the president isn't isn't really a person, right? Like uh can you can you can you bring a bill in? Yeah. I know what you're thinking, Bob, but no, it's it belongs to whoever the current president is. Oh, so so not a, a particular president. Oh, so so if you're thinking of challenging, mm -hmm. I would I would advise against that, you will lose. Okay, then yep. no challenge. You can okay. Oh, it's, sorry, I'm just saying it's a Nicolas Cage movie. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Bill was like, Bill was like, I got this. No. All right. Uh, so we'll move on to the next question, which is in the category of the MCU. And your question is, who plays the Red Guardian in Black Widow? Uh, yay or nay on this one, Koho? Uh, I only saw it the one time in the theater, and I was kind of meh on it. So I'm working my way back through the MCU again, uh, Notice and Notice we will we will see what I what how I feel when I get there. I got a little bit to go, but I'll get there. I'm a, I'm a fan. I I I don't love it, but I think it's entertaining. It's just I think yeah, it's crowded it. by how many times it was pushed. Three. That's fair. Two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Liam. So David Harbor and Kaiser. David Hubbard. Both are correct. The movie Five. should have came out right after Civil War. I think it would have. It would have been received a lot better. I agree. I agree. All right, guys. Our right, Coho, you're going to give the next question. Your next question comes in my favorite horror icons. Which of Lori's family members attends the school she is headmistress of in Halloween H two O twenty years later? Um, I actually do like this one. Actually, yeah, this is a good movie. Um. I see you're uh, doing my bit there. Oh yeah, sorry. I I, I copied your bit. I'm, I, I copied. Yeah, I see you've uh, copied my bit. 
<laughs> on the tree. This is my tree. Four, cool. three, two, Rabbit. one. Pens down. Let's go to Kaiser. Niece. And Liam. I also said niece. I don't know. And there. you both would be incorrect. We were looking for sun. Oh. Sun. So uh, your next question is going to be in DreamWorks animation. The question is, what kind of creature is Shrek in Shrek? Not to be confused with uh, what kind of creature is Shrek in Flushed Away. Hmm. I was I was confused personally. I thought you were going to bring up Raya and the Last Dragon again. I, it's possible. I could have. You never know that. that you never know with that Nick writing the questions. What kind of stuff he's going to throw at you? Five, four, three, curveball. Two, one. Pens down. Let's go to. I don't remember Liam. <laughs> he's an ogre. And there it is. <laughs> Both correct. So six to four. It's like an Ooh. onion. Uh, what is your? <laughs> oh my god! As we get to you, the next question. Yeah. What is it, what is it Go on. Your pet ultimate question comes to the category of the Wizarding World. Who is the last person to be petrified in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets? Yeah, you had the chat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's you know what? Every time I edit a match that uh, I'm not there for and you're hosting with Nick and you say Pentultimate and he does that thing where he's like, Ooh, what's the next question, Coho? And nothing else. Blah, blah, blah. And then you still yeah. say Pentultimate or whatever. Um, I always tell myself I'm going to make sure I read that question when I host with you and I didn't do it before. See, it happens. <laughs> I, I, th I thought you guys were just letting me have um, it at this point. Pens down. He might have. I, I definitely am not. That was an accident. Uh, Kaiser. Hermione. And Liam. It, I can, my light is too bright. Was it Ron? It is not Ron. It is Hermione. So I was Kaiser torn between the two of them. I haven't, I haven't uh, read that one in a while. So we move on to your final question. No perfect rounds today. The final question is in the category of Star Wars. What was the last Star Wars film to feature someone being killed by a lightsaber? Um, if you had to pick a fictional way to perish, would a, would a lightsaber be in the top three options? See, according to Harry Potter, a vodka Kedavra just feels like falling asleep and faster than falling asleep. So I would pick that. So that's, that's just smart. That's yeah. actually, wow. Look at that knowledge you're, you're holding in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Or the Kraken. Hands down, the Kraken. Uh, let's go to Liam. I need to get a better light next time. Was it The Last Jedi? And Kaiser. The Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker is correct. So uh, Kaiser leads eight to four out of round one. Is that what you have, Coho? That is indeed what I have, sir. All right. So uh, we're going to get into round number two. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to bring up the wheel from wheeldecide.com. Each player is going to have a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it, or they can choose to spin again, but they have to keep whatever they spin the second time. Each question will be worth two points apiece. Unless you check the multiple choice, then it will be worth only one. Kaiser has two repeats remaining. Liam has all three. Both still have their challenges. Any questions from the players? All good. All right. We'll bring in your wheel, which uh, today is brought to you by Voodoo. Usually brought to you by Voodoo because I'm on it a lot. Uh, your categories on the wheel today are Star Wars, Planet of the Apes, MCU, Pixar, Middle Earth, Wizarding World, DreamWorks Animation, and Disney Live Action. So, Kaiser, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer to Liam? I'm thinking you want to take, take it easy, right? Yeah. So let's defer, right? You got it. All right. So this is going to be the spin for Liam. All right. Liam, your first spin is in. And it lands on DreamWorks Animation. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I am going to... I'm going to spin again. Okay. This is what you are stuck with. And it lands on the Wizarding World. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Coho, 
Um, if you would be so kind to read his questions in the Wizarding World, Liam, are you ready? Ready. All right, Coho, whenever you are ready, go ahead and read those questions. Your first question. Which Wizarding World film features species of creatures called a Welsh green, a Chinese fireball, and a Hungarian horntail? The Goblet of Fire. That is correct for two points. Uh, your second question. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, Harry uses the Resurrection Stone to bring back both of his parents, Sirius Black, and who? I want to say Lupin and Tonks. That is uh, incorrect. That is incorrect. Kaiser chance for a two-point steal. Just three must Lupin. That is correct for two points. Should have gone multiple choice on that one. <laughs> Uh, your third question. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, what does the special pen that Umbridge has Harry use in detention do while Harry writes? Uh, whatever he writes gets carved into his hand. That is correct for two points. Uh, your fourth question. Who plays Jacob Kowalski in the Fantastic Beasts series? I see his face. I'm trying to remember the actor's name. I'm going to have to go multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Dan Fogler, B, Seth Rogen, C, Eddie Redmayne, or D, Josh Gad. Dan Fogler. That's correct for one point. Seth Rogen would be awesome, but... <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> would be. Your, that would have been interesting. <laughs> your final question, Wizarding World. What device in Dumbledore's office allows him to look at past memories? I know the scenes. I'm trying to think of what the name of it was. But multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Pensieve, B, Faux Glass, C, Remember All, or D, Hourglass. It's the Pensieve. That's correct for one point, and I believe we have a tie game at 10 with that. Correct. So with the steal, Kaiser goes up to 10, but Liam getting his way through the category also at 10. So we'll bring back in uh, Mr. Cariola and the wheel uh, for Kaiser's spin. So Good steal, buddy. Thanks. Good Kaiser. stuff. I'm glad that horseshit category is away. Now you can just take whatever you want. <laughs> was a good steal. I, I thought that. It lands on Disney live action, Kaiser. Would you like to keep that or spin again? What do you think? How do you feel? It's way too broad. I'd like to spin again. Okay. Spin All again. Right. This is what you are going to be stuck with. And it lands on Pixar. Fucking wuss. Okay. <laughs> you got this, bud. You got repeats. You got multiple choice. Take your time. You're tied. Yeah. All right. Kaiser, I will be giving you your questions in the category of Pixar. Are you ready, sir? Yep. Right, your first question. One of the main characters is classified as an extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator in which Pixar film? Wall E. That is correct for two points. Your second question. Who voices Carl in Up? Ed Esna. That is correct for two points. Your next question. What does Ramon do for work in Radiator Springs in Cars? Uh, and Liam, can we have both hands on screen, please? Guess who doesn't give a fuck about cars? Multiple choice. Uh, me, but uh, I think you were talking about Sad. yourself. Your options are <laughs> A, owns a gas station. B, sells tires. C, gives paint jobs. Or D, owns a gift shop. I want to say C. And you would C. be correct. That is correct. For one point. I give a fuck about cars for the record. I know you do. <laughs> All right, Kaiser, your next question. What is the name of the female chef who helps teach Linguini and falls in love with him in Ratatouille? Multiple choice. I don't even know when I hear it. All right, your options are A, Colette, B, Julia, C, Delilah, or D, Penelope? Colette. 
That is correct for one point. And your final question, Kaiser. What object of Dean Hardscrabbles do Mike and Sully break that causes them to get kicked out of the scaring program in Monsters University? What about choice? All right. Your options are A, Hall of Fame statue. B, record-setting screen canister. C, first door she scared in. Or D, a scare game's trophy. B? B as in boy is correct for one point. So, uh, Kaiser getting his way through the category gets his total up to 17 to Liam's 10. Is that what you have, Koho? Absolutely, sir. All right, we're going to get into the betting round. Here's how this is going to work. We're going to uh, bring back our whiteboards uh, and uh, start betting some points. So we're going to say a category. You are then going to have to decide whether you want to bet zero, one, or two on that category. If you get the question right, you will gain those points. If you get the question wrong, you will lose those points. Uh, we will play until someone is mathematically eliminated or we have run out of questions. Any questions from the players? No. All right, let's get into it uh, with the first category that you can bet points on, and it's going to be, oh, it's my favorite. It's Jimmy B, James Bond. All right, let's get bets, starting with Liam. I'm just going to go safe. Okay, no. and Kaiser. One. All right, your question in James Bond. Who directed No Time to Die? Um, this movie slaps. Slaps very hard. Big fan. I like it a lot. Top 10 of 2022. I did see a new 2022 movie that entered my top 10, or 2021 rather, that entered my top 10. Had to kick something out, but not Bond. Bond. That's fair. It's it's close to my 15, I think. One. Pens down. We'll start with Liam, who bet zero. Did Sam Mendes. And Kaiser. Kerry Joji Fukunaga. That is correct. So Kaiser will gain one point, bringing his total up to 18 to Liam's 10 as we get into the next category, which is going to be the category of Pixar. All right, we'll get that starting with Kaiser. Zero. And Liam. I'm going to go two on this one. All right. Koho, what's the question in the category of Pixar? Your question in the category of Pixar. The character Des, who 22 goes to see while in Joe's body, has what occupation in soul? <laughs> um, do you have a soul? Uh, some would say yes. Others would say no. I think the jury's still out on that one. Hmm. That's fair. Can I get a repeat on that? Yep. Liam's first repeat. Uh, your question again. The character Des, who 22 goes to see while in Joe's body, has what occupation in soul? Um, I would probably lean towards you don't because you like to BBS. That's true. I love to BBS. In so much. Um, that would probably be my, my big... Um, and you also think Hamilton's a movie. Um, um, it is. That, that's an empirical fact. That so there's that. Five, is four, three. My eighth grade production of Once Upon a Mattress is also a movie. Pens Every down. Let's go to Kaiser, who bet zero. Jenita, I have no idea. And Liam. Taylor and your winner yeah. Kaiser uh yes that is correct or no neither of them were correct the answer uh was a barber a barber show. Gonna, uh, the hairdresser I was gonna say hairdresser I don't uh cool final thoughts or not final thoughts but thoughts on the match uh, I thought that was solid. I think Kaiser put up like a really solid round one there with eight and, and he worked his way through Pixar, which is a thing that he apparently didn't want. Did got eight out of the 10 possible points. I think he did put up a really solid showing. He was able to kind of sit back and take his time there in that betting round. And I think, I think Liam just had a really big lead to catch up on. And then Kaiser just ha played a really solid game. I thought he did real good in his wizarding world round, but there was just kind of a, a big discrepancy there after Pixar. Absolutely. So let's bring in Liam to start. Liam, uh, great job tonight. Uh, you had a decent round one, but round two, you uh, were pretty, you did pretty great in Wizarding World. Um, you just kind of slipped up on that one question, but you were super close. And otherwise you hit the rest of the questions and it just kind of came down to that Pixar one at the end, um, but had a great showing. How do you feel about the match? Uh, I feel pretty good. I had a 
better round two this time than last time. Worse round one this time than last time. So I think I, that's just what got me. Round one, I fell too far behind, and I I tried. I was I was that the Pixar question. I was torn. I was like, was she a barber hairdresser or was she a tailor? And the suit thing, the suit part of the movie, yeah. Off. I, I went. I just went with the wrong decision. So yeah, you know. It happens to the best of us. Uh, if you, uh, w- the next time you come back, anybody you want to play? Whoever's out there. <laughs> awesome. I'll, well, I'll sounds good to us. Whoever, I'll take on whoever's uh, available. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, happy to have you, Liam. Thank you for coming today. Uh, let's go over and talk to Kaiser. Kaiser, uh, you got the win. Um, you had a really great round one and a really great round two in a category that you didn't seem excited about. Um, how are you feeling about the match overall? I'm kind of surprised I did as well in Pixar as I did because, yeah, I like most of the movies. I actually love most of the movies, but I just don't retain stuff about, about them well. So I, the fact that I six or seven, I, it's a, let's say I'm much happier than I was last time. Yes. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Bill, uh, how do you feel about uh, how Kaiser did today? I mean, he was like a killer out there. He, he did what he had to do, came in, got a round one. You didn't miss in round two, like at all. Sir. Also, I heard something about not really cursing. So should I erase this off my board then for future? I should probably, you know what? I'm going to erase that right now. Let me just get rid of that. Here yep. we go. Yep. Cool. Yep. 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 All right. Cool. Yep. All right. Yeah, you it's still got right. seven. Go on. Go on. Right. Cool. Yeah. Fair enough. But no, uh, kid played great. You know, came back. He was hungry. And I am so proud of him. Except for that Dalton comment. We are going to have a talk later. Yeah, that, you that unfortunately got boy, cut. you are on punishment for that one. Just he, studied, he studied better than the uh, Roger Moore, but it, it's close. Oh, I grew up on Slightly Moore. Better. I don't want to know. No. And I, I won't defend him, but I love Roger Moore. Will you fucking stop it? I this is about you and you won. Let's talk about that. And I can okay. weird taste okay. the movie sometimes. <laughs> All right. Kaiser, uh, congrats <laughs> on the win. You played really great. Uh, Bill being in your corner, I think, was uh, was it was a nice matchup to see you guys together. Really great match. Uh, we're gonna have you back uh, for another match pretty soon. Uh, I, I I don't fucking know who, but you'll be playing eventually again. Kaiser. So great <laughs> job today. Uh, really solid performance, and we will see you soon with the next match. Now, final thoughts, Coho. Uh, I thought this was a good. I thought they played good. I thought uh, I thought Kaiser looked like he he's hungry, uh, like Bill said. So I'm I'm excited to see where Kaiser goes next. I think Liam just. Kind of just was on the receiving end of a of a of a strong game from Kaiser, but I, I'm, I'm I hope I see him again again. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's gonna do it for us today at Fandom Fights. Thank you to Liam, Kaiser, Bill, Coho. Thank you to Nick behind the scenes who wrote this one. Uh, I have been Tim. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next. Time. We are so glad you came. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is there is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. <laughs>